make a floor user shape, you can make it look like it's water in your sink. So there's so many things you can do with floor user shapes. It's just amazing. So we can select them this way. I never go to Architectural Elements to select them. I hate changing my catalog. I want to leave it on the catalog I'm designing in because otherwise I end up with multiple catalogs in my design and it's just a pain in the neck. So the shortcut, come up here and click on, you can do windows, you can do doors, click on either one of those. User shapes right here on top. I want a floor user shape. It's already ready for me. Drop it right out here in my layout cancel because I don't need another one. We're going to come in here and we're going to right click on my floor user shape and we're going to go to attributes. If you know the dimensions that you need to have in here, and I do, you can just simply enter them. I want it 72 inches long because I've got 60 inches here so I want it out a little bit. I want an eating bar in the end. My depth is going to be 18 inches so it's a nice eating bar. Now typically your countertop is just an inch and a half thick but in this case, I want to have a little bit more fun because I'm going to put a big piece of granite on it and I want it to look big and massive. So I'm going to do a two and a half inch piece. I can come over here to my texture. I can select a non-wood texture by clicking on select, or select, I'm sorry, a wood texture. I can't read, but I can tell you what I'm doing. Select a wood texture by clicking on it. I can select a non-wood texture. I can match catalog. Match catalog, whatever you set in your global specs for your cabinets. Honey oak, for instance, if you make your cabinets honey oak, your countertop will be honey oak. As countertop, that's going to match whatever I've done here on my other countertops, which was a blacky, greeny granite. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a non wood. I'm going to hit select. And I am going to add, leave this as a, as a um, mm -hmm, granite. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to hit OK on there. And then I'm going to hit OK here. Here's my countertop ready to go. So I'm going to go to floor user shape. Now remember this is a floor user shape so it's sitting on the floor. I need to up down this guy first. I know I built that wall 40 and a half inches tall so 40 and a half. Enter. Right click on it again. We're going to move this time. I'm going to do a single left click just down below it so that it attaches to my mouse. Here it's attached to my mouse. Now I'm going to come out here so it's a little bit off the screen because I need a little bit of room over here. And I'm going to right click and this is going to give me rotate. I'm going to rotate this guy till it's a 90 degree. Right click again. Now I'm just going to slide it right up into place. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to edit. And now it's going to edit just like a countertop. So I'm going to right click on my point. I'm going to go to round. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set it nine inches round. Same thing here, round. This time I don't need to use my edit box because it won't go past nine inches because the other one's already at nine inches because that's half of 18, so they run into each other. And we're going to click here and we're going to go to round. And this time I want my round to just be six inches and enter. And there's my countertop. Escape on my keyboard to exit the function. Ready for a 3D? I am. And here's my 3D. You notice that wall kind of goes away here. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Th this, this guy. I'll show you how to fix that so he stays in your design. And yes, it's not the right color. It's okay. <laughs> it was design purposes only. You don't need phone calls telling me that my color choices suck. I'm well aware. Okay, so here we go. We've got default cabinets in here. So you can see this is our default cabinet. We've got the countertop we chose. We've got the floor we chose. We've got the wall color we chose. We've got the other countertop that we chose here. Now, navigation controls. We can use the ones up here, zoom in, zoom out, or if you take your mouse, move it out to the middle of your design, hold down your left mouse button, move your mouse, there we go, right mouse button, move your mouse, and I'm just holding down the mouse button one at a time. Makes it a little bit easier sometimes than using these navigation controls, sometimes they get away from you. 
um, save. Once you design it around here, you get okay. This is a this is perfect picture of it. You can click save, tell it where to save it, and it'll save it as a PDF file for you. You can print it. We can change our door style by clicking on door style. And come in here and choose whatever you want. Whoops! How about arch door two for a while? Here we go. And for the base, and a drawer, and a wood species, and a color. I have no idea what I'm picking here, by the way. I'm just putting stuff on. And you'll notice it says, please click to select. You need to do each one of these before you can get pricing, but it won't work in here. So I don't know why I just told you that. So here we go. Here's a nice thermal foil white kitchen I changed the hardware changed the doors alright any settings you set in here they're not permanent when we leave and come back they will be changed back we can change our countertop we can change our flooring We can oh search collection for walls, wall coverings here. We don't need to change our walls. Um, our ceiling style, we're just going to leave. Hide invisible walls, we went over that one. Open closed doors, again, if you click on this and nothing happens, you don't have the feature. Let's see if I can get set up just right. Notice the jaggy lines that I got going around things here. I've got a refine button. This works in OpenGL in, in your 3D mode. Um, if you click on that and it doesn't happen and you would like to try it, let us know. We'll show you how to change your 3D mode over to OpenGL. We can change the lighting. And let's rotate in. Um, now this one, we'll come back and do a better one for 3D and exit. Then we're gone. Okay, so we've gone through those guys. We've taken a look at the 3D. Um, and we're just over an hour here, so we got to kind of wrap things up a little bit. If you want to print your design, uh, well, let's start here. New, self-explanatory, starts a new design, opens an existing design. You can insert a design into your design. We can close the design, save the design, design setting info. We were in design settings. That's the first screen we set up. You can access that there. Copy, cut, paste, delete, undo, redo, print, self-explanatory. But what I do want to do show you is print preview. Most customers don't use print preview, and they really should be using print preview. You can come in here under page format. Click on that. Get this guy over here where everybody can see it. And you can change portrait landscape, change your margins, change your paper, all that good stuff. These are settings from your print driver. Pro Kitchen doesn't have generic print drivers, so we use your print driver for it. Um, so anything your printer can do should be shown up there. Um, fit to page and ratio, you can play with those guys. Print area, just your entire design or the display. Um, all views, this is where people really need to, to start using. Page range, come under here and do selected views and browse and you can tell it exactly what you want it to print out. I want it to print view 1 and here's my view, view 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Those are the views I'm talking about. I want it to print view 1 and I want it to print all the elevations that we had. So I'm going to click OK. We can come in here and we can change our stamp form. Um, you can change all this information here. You can add your logo. Now your logo does need to be a JPEG and it should be about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. You can change the text in the stamp form. We're just going to leave the default here, but you can change that. Print stamp form, you can, you can turn that on and off from here. I'm going to click OK. Here's our cabinet. Here's our stamp form. This is what we were talking about. Logo, text one, text two. Here's our elevations. Our elevation. And our last elevation all in here. Now you can come in here and you can use these. You can print. You can save to file. It'll save them as a uh, PDF for you. You can close, zoom in, zoom out, uh, mover, change your ratio. You can play with all these guys. So mover, 
just click on it move it down where you want it and then when you're ready click print and it'll print those out for you or close because we're not printing today um, let's see we've got we've got select template view so you can come in here and you can put an image in each one of these that way instead of having because we could have done layout and view one or not view one here and then we could have done elevation one elevation two and elevation three had it all in one nice little package um, again our selection tool our hand tool this allows us to move um, click back on the selection tool to get rid of hand zoom in and out this one's kind of fun um, you click on this guy and if you left click you zoom out if you right click you zoom in and if you forget those it, just remember or just look up here because the plus is on the left negatives on the right um, zoom to region build your little lasso around something let go and it zooms in zoom to fit this is one you do need to know because if you have some issues and call us in, at support um, a lot of times we're going to ask you to click on the zoom to fit um, search customer search design view design we already are um, bill of materials these are all the materials that we put into the design we've got global specifications this tells us what we're looking at um, full overlay we're just gonna set one up here real quick because we need it for the next process anyways square lower door style we're gonna do the square mitered again square miter drawer and I'm just putting something in here guys I'm not really being picky and 